Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rat from Rat Tarot, and uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Cancer Sun Moon and also Cancer Rising weekly general enhanced uh, tarot reading, and it is enhanced through the elemental dignities. So, for more information about the technique, you can uh, check my Facebook page and also my website, which you're going to find into the description down below. And in this uh, very same website, you will find information about my tarot classes and as well my services in case you are interested in a personal reading and also purchase either of these. And uh, if you wish to participate into the free reading contests which are happening into my live streams that I'm slacking lately, but I'm going to renew them very very soon uh, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and as well hit the notification bell to uh, pretty much be notified anytime i go live or uh, when i do my weekly uploads so with that being said uh, moving to the cancer reading of uh, the week july 19th up until july 25th 2021 First card you do have is going to be the King of Cups, uh, followed by the second one here, which stands as the Two of Wands. The third card of your spread is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. And uh, the last card here, the last main card, there are going to be four more cards, is going to be the uh, Sun. My God, it's... Uh, <laughs> uh, that is going to be a great week. I mean, there is no other way to, uh, to see it. Uh, I can see only one slight problem that is going to be not a problem at all. It is just it may happen to be a problem uh, beyond this week moving forward. But with those four cards, let me show them to you again that we do have here. OK, so those four cards, uh, it will seem that what you need, so to speak, and you may not even know that you need it at that point, uh, is going to be offered to you, okay? You need love, well, that is going to be offered to you. You need money, that is going to be offered to you, whatever you need, all right? Uh, and only one thing, you know, you may need many things, but one of these is going to be offered to you. Let's not be greedy here. Uh, by a person that appears straight at the start of the week, and uh, you may know the person or you, uh, or that could be somebody brand new, and uh, that offer uh, is going to be quite tempting. Not just only that, but also will allow you to make a significant change in your life. Now, let's scrutinize the reading, shall we? And uh, like I said, the first one, which is the King of Cups, it's going to be catalyzed by the Ten of Wands. Great. Now, these are a, a, a passive, I'm sorry, these are a passive enemies. And uh, this individual, which happens to be the King of uh, Cups, comes about and like I said, it does make you some kind of an offer that it is going to be quite tempting one. And what you need to know about the King of Cups is that these people, they don't um, kind of like fall into a uh, emotional overflow. What I mean is that they are a, they, they have tamed their emotions to, uh, to perfection and they do not allow their emotions to dictate their actions. So with this one, uh, you cannot expect huge romance, although these, these people, the, this archetype, they are capable of very, very deep emotions. It is just, you know, they don't express those emotions and uh, to their full extent. And um, thus they are quite professional with what they do, regardless if we're talking about career or relationship. And uh, the offer that they are going to propose to you it's very easy going and the good thing it is that it, it has no strings attached. That is from the elemental dignity that we do have here. There is literally no strings attached to it. You can take it and you can leave wherever and whenever you want. As soon as that endeavor stops being beneficial for you, you can just leave it. No consequences whatsoever, no strings attached. But um, because of this elemental dignity, it will make a lot of sense for you to uh, to take the offer. It just is going to be, like I said, the, the 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 thing that will allow you to grow further without putting way too much sweat on it. And uh, right after that, we do have the two of wands, which is going to be catalyzed with the nine of swords. So we do have a active friends that we do have here. And uh, at that point, after the offer takes place. Uh, you are going to start make 
um, significant progress because with these, uh, with these two, you are gonna step on some kind of a accomplishments and achievements, which are gonna happen rather quite fast. And additionally to that, you are going to be in a full understanding of uh, what consequences your actions are going to bring. Therefore, it is highly unlikely that you are gonna make the wrong move moving forward with the proposition from the King of Cups, either career proposition or a relationship proposition. Again, whatever you need. And um, with these two as well here, um, I said that there is going to be a problem or that can happen further. But with these two, that is extremely unlikely now. And that is because with, uh, with that elemental dignity that we do have, you will fully understand what you can want or what you can demand and what you cannot demand at certain points. And that was the problem that if we didn't have that, uh, that elemental dignity, I would have told you that, uh, you know, you, are, you will want things to happen very fast, like over a night. And that is also true even with the elemental dignity, but what these cards divulge it is that you are going to have the strength to, to, to resist that temptation to slam your fistful on the table and just, you know, demand things left, right and center. Here, you will understand that if you do so, you risk losing everything, you risk losing that business offer or that relationship that it is emerging here. And thus, you will have the sheer strength to stop yourself, to put brakes and not demand things that you know that they are just not gonna happen at the time being, but they will happen further into the future. But the thing is here that um, with these two cards, it is that this, um, how can I say, uh, partnership, I would say, or unity in between you and the King of Cups, it's a really good accomplishment. And that accomplishment can go so for so much more. You, you, you wouldn't even believe it, how far it can go. And it is uh, the realization here with these two cards, okay? that you gotta give it a go. I mean, you, you gotta expand on this unity and on this partnership. And once you do start expanding the 10, uh, not the 10, that, yeah, the 10th uh, major arcana or the wheel of fortune is gonna manifest for you and it is accompanied with the ace of a pentacles. And that is a, a very random circumstances which are gonna start happening or they are gonna seem random to you because these two are forming a active neutrals and it is just you are not used to, to, to such an environment, right? That is an, an endeavor in between you and the King of Cups that you never experienced before. And at start is gonna seem rather quite awkward and quite random, but as you do progress further, now, I don't know how to, I mean, the, the answer is in my mind. I just don't know how to translate it. Um, as you do progress further with the endeavor, you are to see that this endeavor has so much more to give you, but it is unlike anything you have expected. It's, it's like, you know, uh, you have imagined, say, the perfect business or you have imagined the perfect relationship. And what it is offered to you is different from what you have imagined, but yet it forms these perfect things, right? It still can be a perfect relationship. It still can be a perfect business. It could be a perfect uh, friendship, or it could be a perfect money-making machine, all right? So whatever, again, you need. Uh, and uh, while at the start, it may not seem like that opportunity to further your goal, and there is no harmony in it, Okay, like I said, it will look very random. Quickly, you will understand that this is a once in a lifetime uh, chance to make a significant change in your life through the, uh, that very tempting offer that the King of Pentacles, uh, King of Cups, I'm sorry, has for you. And uh, moving towards the end of the week here, that it is uh, signified by the Sun card and it is catalyzed, my God, with the Eight of Wands. So we do have active supporters and that is you are ending the week in a very, very happy place. This is where you do now cash in on the everlasting and a very huge expanding energies of growth. And uh, simply from there, as beforehand, things looked very random for you. Now at the end of the week, things are looking very natural. I mean, you just get the hang, you, you have got the hang of it. 
okay? And not just only that, but as well, um, the, the, the whole environment, it will feel like there is no stress in it, that there is no problems in it as well, that there is no oppression in it. And that will um, fill you up with vitality, vigor, um, enthusiasm to simply press forward. Uh, at that point, at the end of the week, um, trifling arguments with people around you, like co-workers, like uh, uh, friends as well, like family, they will now look, if beforehand they looked a big deal, now they will simply look inconsequential and it's just they don't matter at all. Uh, for you do have something new, all right? It is something that you have not planned for. It seemed, like I said, random, very awkward, but it is, it is a thing you would want to see through. And everything else that you had as a predicament, it simply lose relevance. And thus, at the end of the week, it's highly likely that you are going to offer a peace treaty to everything, to everybody, I'm sorry, that you have kind of like, um, you know, your interactions with. And uh, those peace treaties are to be accepted and thus the tomahawks are to be buried or the hatchets are to be buried. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's happiness all around you. And even more than that, should you get uh, very well along with the King of Cups? Because bear in mind, you do have a choice. Tarot cannot make decisions for you. I mean, this person comes about, offers you something, you know, either a business proposition, relationship proposition. You have the free will to accept or deny it. And if you do deny it, then there will be no change. Then this reading goes to uh, goes out of the window, right? And the week is going to be no different than any other week. You take the offer, then that thing manifests, and at the end of the week, you feel very happy. And not just only that, but the King of Cups is going to make you happy because through your happiness, they are going to be happy. Through their happiness, you are going to be happy. And that is just, you know, one, uh, how can I say, share, or, or rather like transfusion of happiness. And yeah, it's, it's amazing, okay? And uh, whatever you need, guys, it comes about. So yeah, with that being said, Cancer, uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading of uh, July uh, 19th up until July 25th, 2021. Um, I do apologize if I got a little bit more excited than I should have been. And uh, yeah, we hopefully gonna see each other next time. Until then, bye.